Day three at the pool. Waka Lucas Springs. Two days of parks. Today we're taking it easy at the pool, relaxing. And going to go eat at some place that we don't have in Monroe tonight. Just chillaxing. It's hotter than Hades out here. We used to call this right here the big house. Because we never got to stay here. This is the first year we got to stay in what I call the big house. It's pretty nice other than the fact that the spa didn't work in the master bedroom and the AC turned off in the middle of the day. Other than that, I can't find Jackson, but, oh, there he is. So he told me he wanted his goggles so he could go in the water and look at all the girls' butts. Universal Studios. We've made it. You know what, we're working on this. Go down here because there's less people. Now we're going to walk down an escalator that doesn't work. On up here when you walk in the thing. The other side. The party's over. Kaylee just asked me, what is that ride where you wait in line? You figured out what ride it was that you wait in line? here at Fear Factor Live. I am John on camera. My production assistant, Drew. Everybody in the booth and the rest of my crew backstage, can I get a big round of applause for my crew? Yeah. Very two teams of two. All right, people who work well together. Volunteer yourself and then bring a friend. All the way up top by the pink shirt. Yeah, she's pointing you guys out. And then we need, yes, you two right there. Very good. All right, now those are all the volunteers I need, but I do need a very loud and enthusiastic studio audience. Next event. Oh! By the way, there's one more thing. That's right, and it starts with my very first volunteer, Nathan. Everybody give it up for Nathan. That was a severe psych out. I didn't even catch up. <laughs> it looked like it was simultaneous, but I think it was an audio as our lost guy. 11 seconds, folks. I see that don't freak out while we put five of these little guys directly on your head. Now, Belinda, I have to ask, are you ready for this? All right, Jen, come on over here. Give your friends some moral support. Very solid, solid beginning. Two. Oh, it's like 
Scorpion Specs 3. All right, man, we have three very brave competitors coming to the stage. Give it up for Richard, Victoria, and Nick! Now, this is a slightly easy week. In three, two, one, go! Up on the way. Wow, oh, open up. Done. done. Wow, done. Richard. <laughs> Did you not have breakfast? Is that good? But she may still finish. The final flag is on a windowsill. Once it gets caught, move across the windowsill to the red fireman's pole. On it, you'll find a red flag with a key attached. Hold on to that. You're gonna need that key. Snip, slide all the way down the fireman's pole to the bottom floor. Once on the ground, turn, run, go to your yellow convertible. Use the key to start the car. The ignition is on the right-hand side. The car will then rise all the way up to the very top of our arena. When it comes to a stop, climb out under the hood and remove the final three yellow flags. Once they're gone, climb back into the car, head to the back seats. There you will find a rocket launcher. Pick it up and at the big yellow target in the center of our stage. And we'll be to pound our competitors with these ball cannons. Douse them with water as they try to climb the wall and provide a little rain for our car climbing action. That, my friends, is what we call entertainment here at Beer Factor Live. All right, you are, Bob. Now, keep in mind, folks, we are going to be counting down twice. Three counts of three, because we've got two competitors in he's going down. In three, two, one, go, Bob. Go. Three, two, one, go, go. It's a pretty even match still. On that first hurdle, rather than I've got that first flag, Marcus losing him a little bit. That's Spider Man now, and he's got that first flag as Kathleen leans in and gets hurt. She's got to uh, shuffle over to the other side, make sure she gets that second flag on the side. Uh, Mark has totally lost his second flag club. Not a friend of the elimination. It is a dead heat so far. Whoever gets that car started first, he's definitely going to have a slight advantage. Oh, there goes Mark. He's got his car. I don't know what it's going to do. I'd rather ride first.
Wow, well, that's worth 50 bucks. Pokemon Hunters. What? Pokemon Hunters. What? day in an amusement park, Universal. And after that, we thought we had another day at the hotel or the resort to uh, relax, unwind, and get ready for the next day. Well, so we stay out pretty late at the resort, get home by 11, everybody goes to bed, wake up around 9. I walk outside and there's a big, with a, it's like a laundry bag that they use when people move out to move in the new laundry. They just stack it up by the door so the maids can come by. And, well, there's one by our door. I go, hmm, that's odd because we were getting ready to go down to the pool. Go back in and tell Christy. I said, hey, there's a laundry thing by our door. She goes back, looks at the confirmation and goes, oh my God, we're supposed to be out today by 10 o'clock. Now, mind you, this is like a four bedroom or three bedroom it's a fully furnished resort, so all of our stuff is in like the closets and then the you know, put up where you would normally put stuff in our house. We had 30 minutes to get out and drive 15 hours to get home. It was not fun. It was not planned for. But we made it home. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it.